Hello! I'm interrupting today's video quickly just to let you know that we are having a warehouse sale over on LoneFox.com, our first ever warehouse sale. I have marked over 200 items and put them in the sales section of the site, some items up to 60% off. Take a peek, we're just clearing out some space in the warehouse to bring in some new stuff, and let's go ahead and dive on into this guest room makeover. You might know what's in this box. It is for the makeover that we are going to be starting today, which you probably can tell by the title of this video. Winston's actually down here. Winston, you wanna say hi? Oh, oh, he waved! Oh, no, he's actually saying let me down. Today, well actually tomorrow, we are starting the guest bedroom makeover, but the wallpaper just arrived, and you guys, the insane thing is, is I don't know what wallpaper's in this box. I actually let Justin decide on the final wallpaper because I was so indecisive on Monday. I ended up doing a community poll like on my channel and it is now Thursday. He made the final decision and I think I know the two that it could potentially be and I'm sort of hoping that it's one more than the other because this is the only room in my house that we can actually wallpaper. So I figured might as well go full on and wallpaper it. Look, I probably normally wouldn't let someone else choose the wallpaper for me, but since this was gifted, I was like, you know what? Let's see what I can whip up in this guest bedroom. So the wallpaper's in here and let's open it up. I need to show you what Winston looks like. He is very excited. Wanna see the wallpaper? And I don't know if the rolls are just gonna be like right there. <gasps> I see a glimpse of a corner. Looks like we got the green wildflower, and I think it's in the large size, because I know we were kind of thinking about also getting a different size. I have only seen a small sample of this, so I've yet to actually see it in the roll. Let's see how large. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's actually on a grass cloth, so it has this great kind of natural texture to it. This is from Spoonflower. They have tons of different prints you can have done. Oh my god. Is that pretty, you guys? Can you let me know? Did we make the right choice? This actually was the one I was leaning towards over the Damask. I feel like the Damask is just a little bit more safe and it kind of needs a little different style of my house. I do think it's a cute one. And the green is also really nice. There are a bunch of rolls of this in here. It looks like there's like seven or eight rolls of wallpaper. We are actually going to need to start tomorrow morning with priming and painting all the trim and everything because you want to go ahead and do your trim before wallpaper. That way you can just put your wallpaper over the top. Winston's drinking his drink. I had to open this tonight because I have been curious as to what wallpaper we are going to use. And this now gives me more of a mindset as to how we're going to design the space. So I need to brainstorm tonight. <laughs> We're in the guest room right now, and as you can see, this has become kind of like a dumping ground for a lot of projects. We recently had some guests over and had to push everything in, into these corners over here. I old nightstands for my bedroom, so there's just like a lot of random stuff that needs to get out of here. So we have a blank slate to work with, and I can share with you guys what this room actually looks like. For anyone who's been watching since I bought the house, this is where this room is actually located. It's right by my bedroom. And here's a look at what it looked like when I purchased the home. This was on move-in day. I love this room so much. It's actually been kind of vacant for quite a while until I started this makeover. It has coved ceilings. It's just a perfect little guest room. I feel like at first glance, you guys are looking at this wallpaper, it's kind of overpowering, or it seems so. And I think once we have it on the wall, I just have a few ideas and ways to mellow it out a little bit. And we have like some large furniture pieces that are gonna be going in here too to block some of the patterns. So yes, and we're also gonna be doing an accent ceiling. What color on the accent ceiling? Pink, maybe? So we're gonna sample some trim colors and ceiling colors. The current like yellowy, creamy wall color is like the same exact, almost the same color as the wallpaper background I just noticed. Okay, this one's matched more to the actual wallpaper itself. So we cut a little square off. You can kind of see it here. And the kind of nice thing is, is that we're gonna be covering all of this wall up with wallpaper. So kind of paint some pretty large swatches. Here's that other green option. This is like a Farron ball dupe color called like Yeah Bridge Green, I believe. I just thought this might feel a little 
not as intense as this, but still totally work. It kind of meshes the green and the cream into this warmish, lighter, kind of celery color. For ceiling, I have setting plaster from Pharaoh and Ball, and this is a Templeton pink from Pharaoh and Ball. Okay, we're gonna let those dry. Also definitely thinking about keeping this bench in here. It was in my room before, but since I added the accent chair or like that lounger, that was sort of the same style as this bench, I opted to bring it in here and I think it could be a nice little accent. I'll link this one for you below. And also this rug here is the Jake Arnold Chiltern rug from Lulu in Georgia. It's such a pretty one. I got it on Marketplace a while back, but I don't think it's gonna be staying in here. It just blends in too much with the floor. I'd rather it be downstairs with the light wood floor. I have vinyl windows in my home and I like to paint them to match my designs. So I actually go in and tape off the inside of the window with a nice clean piece of tape to start. And then over the top of that, you can kind of be messy with adding your masking paper and an additional piece of tape. Then going in over the top of that, we are using the Ben Zinzer primer. This is a perfect primer to make basically anything stick to absolutely anything. So I sprayed all of my windows with two coats of the primer and then we got into painting. And this is that Yabridge Green Color by Farrow and Wall. to swap out the door handles on the closet and bathroom doors here so I took those off that way I can go in and just paint around the trim and also both of these doors or actually all three there's going to be the door leading out to the hallway the bathroom and the closet door all which are going to be painted the green tone I'm giving us a little a, sample, a sampling <gasps> that's gorgeous Love it. And as you might be able to see, I got a little scared painting the pink on the ceiling, so I actually decided to go in with the same green color and just go a little safer with the design in this room. I figured if I really wanted to in the end and the room needed it, I can go in with an accent ceiling, but for now, I painted it green to match the windows and the baseboards and the doors. I need to pick out some curtains or like the color of curtain that I want to do here, and I'm just going to go with the curtains that I've used in my entire house, which are actually on Amazon, which is great. I will link them below for you. They're from Two Pages. I actually always suggest ordering the swatch book especially if you're gonna do kind of room by room which is what I'm doing because they do add up you know they are custom curtains but they come really fast really great this is not sponsored by the way I just absolutely love the quality the options how they come they are so stunning I've been looking through these to kind of figure out what color could look nice with our new trim which is right here I want to actually was going in between this kind of blue color here uh, but I also love these golden ones too and I know that I used one of these two gold colors in the dining room I think it was this one that I used in the dining room this is this more the hardest time of day that we can choose because it's so bright outside I was kind of torn at which color to choose but I thought since there was a lot of green in here I'd add a little bit more neutral back into the palette so I opted for a color called soft beige Welcome to our wallpapering studio. Today is wallpaper day and I'm a little nervous. I'm also a little excited because I like the idea of how much surface you cover with wallpaper per strip, but I'm a little nervous because we can't get any glue on the front of this wallpaper since it is made of the grass cloth. We ended up setting up two really long just folding tables that we've had and this will allow us to have the entire strip of wallpaper put across the table and then we can put the glue on it. We got a special wallpaper glue on Amazon. I'll link this one for you guys. If you're using grass cloth wallpaper, this is the recommended one. Take measure down and I'm actually starting our line here and then measuring the length of the wall and then adding just a couple inches because the repeat on our wallpaper is pretty small. If you have a large repeat, you might want to add more. And then going to the 125 mark, and that way we know how long to cut each panel and it's just a little easier. So I'm putting tape down on the table to mark. And I mainly did this because it's just nice to have pre-cut panels as you're working as opposed to having to stop and cut and get any glue on the panel. So we cut a bunch before we started. Oh, that's sick. That's gelatinous. Look at the consistency of that. So interesting. So there are different types of wallpaper. There is paste the wall wallpaper, there is paste the paper, there is paste both the wall and the paper. This particular one is paste the paper. So you essentially add the wallpaper glue to the length of your paper and then fold it in half and let the two glue sides stick together. This is called booking your wallpaper and it's gonna let the glue expand and just kind of get a bit more tacky before you go and apply it on your wall. You wait three to five minutes and then apply the piece to the wall. 
I put up the wallpaper piece. It actually looks so good over there. I love it. We're about to add the second. This wall's pretty easy because it's just like a solid wall, whereas the other walls have windows and doors that we're gonna have to work with. Something else you may notice that I have to deal with on my walls is the coved ceiling. Now on that left side, the leftmost panel you see on the wall, I did cut it to match the cove as much as I possibly could once I adhered it up on the wall. And I actually start at the top of the wallpaper, match it up towards the top, then secure the entire top panel and then smooth it all the way down to the baseboard. So something I will say is I definitely feel like wallpapering is a two person task. You just need two people, especially if it's a full wall. If it's a small backsplash or something, I think you can get away with like one person, but having two people in order to make sure that the entire piece is somewhat aligned before pressing it down. However, the great thing about real wallpaper, which you don't get with peel and stick is you actually have quite a bit of time to remove it and make sure that it looks nice and is in the right spot before hundred percent going with it and letting it dry down. I would say that all in all, the wallpapering probably took us 10 hours in actual like hours. So we split it up over two days, about five hours per day, and it made it really simple. <sighs> the wallpaper is done and it genuinely looks so, so good. You guys, I am so happy. As we were doing it, I was getting a little worried because as you see a project kind of like mid wallpaper, you see the other wall, the trim is like all crazy. It was just very messy in here, if that makes sense. But once we got all the wallpaper on, which really only took us probably like 10 hours from start to finish if we were to go straight through. It was not bad, really not hard to install too. Highly recommend the adhesive that we used along with the Spoonflower wallpaper. It just worked incredibly. And I'll link below the one that I have here for you. And this guest room is gonna be a two part video because we have been working on this in terms of painting and prepping it and everything for almost like a week now. I think I'm gonna put the light up in here though and then maybe give you guys a sneak peek of the dresser because in the next video we are gonna be making an entire bed like full on DIY, headboard, nightstand. We're gonna be adding like lighting into it, I'm thinking. Tomorrow I'm gonna be adding one more thing to this wallpaper, which I have yet to share with you. It's gonna be a little bit of a surprise, but Today, before the sun sets, I do want to hang up the light and I have a dresser that you might have seen the mirror in the background of some of this video. It is a stunning, absolutely beautiful East Lake dresser that we found at an antique mall for like $200 a few months back and I had to get it when I found it. I actually thought I was going to list it on my site or put it at my antique booth. It's too beautiful to sell, I have to keep it. So it's going to be going in this bedroom. It's like the perfect guest bedroom dresser. But let me share with you the light. Here she is in all of her glory. Now, it actually has a little glass shape for every single candlestick. It's an Italian mid-century, probably 60s or 70s light. And I first saw this light at Liz's Antique Hardware in LA. I think I shared with you guys a story in my um, like mood boarding video of this room. And she had this, but it was $4,000 and I just could not, I would not buy that for $4,000. Even though it's beautiful and it's probably worth it, but it ended up popping up on my Etsy and I found it one day for like under $500. I added it to my cart, the lady sent me an offer. I accepted it. I was so nervous that it would break in shipping because it was like shipped across the US. And I ordered some brass curtain rods and some rings that hopefully will somewhat coordinate with this. So yeah, I just love the wallpaper in here. It feels so great. Like it doesn't feel busy at all either. Like I really thought it was gonna feel crazy on the eye, but it totally feels more textural. I don't know if it portrays that way on camera, but I love it. Good morning. 
morning everyone it is friday bright and early and we are starting the next little accent on this wallpaper and to me the room at the moment is just kind of feeling a little cutesy i had this idea of adding like a black rope piping and it's kind of inspired by a lot of danish furniture they have this rope trim on them and i thought why not create like a piped look around the windows on top of the baseboard basically everywhere the wallpaper meets up to the edge and it's not even like i need to because i was able to cut this like perfectly around the entire wallpaper like everything looks great but at the start, I was like, if I don't cut it great, then I can easily hide it with some of this rope trim. But I still want to add it. I still want to add that detail. So I ordered this on Amazon. It was like, I think $10 a roll or so. And I am going to go around the windows, the baseboards. It's really going to highlight the coves as well because they're kind of lost with all of the wallpaper. And this is going to bring it back. I hope. I hope this looks good. I don't know if it's going to. It's very contrasty, but it's thin as well. I think it's going to add a cool look. But don't be too harsh if you don't like it. Oh yeah, and we're hot gluing it, by the way. But honestly, the most proper way to add it is hot glue. It's going on top of paper. If you think about it, this is wallpaper. So I'm going to glue this right on top of the wallpaper and add the glue there as opposed to like the actual window. And it's going to be very tedious, but I hope it adds like that added little interest. This is my trusty hot glue gun of like six years. That's burnt. <laughs> burnt to a crisp. I'm also using the Gorilla hot glue sticks. So they're definitely like a bit stronger and then just kind of lightly tapping and working in like probably 12 inch sections. It's kind of making your walls look upholstered, which I think is a cool look. Justin started over here. Look how good that looks. The best part though, it's gonna be covered. <laughs> I know, this is where our headboard's going, so it's kind of gonna cover up this area. Now, I feel like some of you may hate this and some of you may absolutely love it, and I love it. I think it's such a fun little accent. I love the black as well. It adds just a little bit of edginess to this wallpaper that kind of has like a very cottagey, granny chic feel to it, which I do love, but I plan on incorporating some black frames in the art, so it'll tie back to this black piping, do not worry. And that concludes part one of this guest bedroom makeover. This room is turning out so cool and different from anything I have ever done before. It's definitely taking on kind of like this cottage core feel to it. I absolutely love the piping detail that I added around. It's super subtle. You can really notice it the most, honestly, like in the actual coved areas. But I think I'm gonna go back and add another strip of rope on the inside of the molding on the ceiling. The rope that we added where the wallpaper meets up to the molding is kind of hidden until you like see past the molding, if that makes sense. Like you have to like walk past it. So there's gonna be a cord running on either side of that trim that's on the ceiling. I'm gonna shake your waist in. Hello! And of course, Lil Winnie wanted to say hi. Winnie, say hi, everybody. He's been so good, you guys. He's been helping out with the guest room makeover. He loves it in here, too. It's probably like the coldest room in the house, and he really loves cold, so I always find him in here. If this style of bedroom is not your exact taste, just wait for part two. Trust me, I promise you guys, we are adding a huge upholstered headboard on the back that's gonna be like DIY with inset lighting and cording and all this stuff. A bed, we're gonna be doing curtains, we're adding like just art everywhere. There's gonna be a lot of additions. The green is so nice in here, it's so calming, and I love the wallpaper. It does not feel too busy. I just cannot wait to start adding art over top and layering in this room, so make sure to stay tuned for part two coming out next week. And also while I still have you here, do not forget to check out the warehouse sale happening over on LoanFox.com. We are doing a big warehouse clear out sale. I have just been procrastinating with the stock over there, you guys. Like I still do everything for the online store myself in terms of photos and listings and sourcing and everything for that store. We have compilations of shipments coming in that I wasn't able to get to. So we posted it all over the past month and a good amount of it is actually on major sale up to like 70% off some items. So definitely check it out. Link at the top of the description box below for you guys and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.